Hi guys, it's PiggyPro123, and today I have some major updates about the guinea pigs. So the first one is their food, and this is where I keep their food, and this is the food they are on. And as you probably know, um, they were on Bonanza guinea pig diet, and it's filled with a lot of kind of treat stuff, like um, banana chips and dried carrot and dried papaya and pumpkin seeds and they were on that for about a month and a half and that was basically their birthday present so but they okay but they really liked it so what I decided to do is what you see here and you can see there's still all the seeds and stuff um, dried chips, but there's not nearly as much as in a normal bag of Bonanza. And what I did was buy 10 pounds of the heart pellets, which is just the pellets. And I'm sorry, you hear squabbling in the background. The pigs are fighting. Okay, I'm sorry about that. Rose was just getting out of control and chasing Petunia. Um, but I just bought a 10 pound bag of the pellets, hearts, guinea pig diet pellets, and a four and a half pound bag of Bonanza and mixed it together in this container and it used to be a lot more full. I was going to do an updates video but decided not to because there was only like two updates. Two little things that um so it used to be a little more full like up to here but um that is their new diet and if you look over here I've done a little rearranging over here is where Rose and Petunia's cage used to be, but their cage is now over here. So we built the new CNC cage. This is it. I used yellow coroplast. You can see it right there. And, um, oops, I just bumped the water bottle. <laughs> I'm on the floor and filming with one hand, so I'm sorry if it's shaky. Um, and yes, that is Kiwi. That's why the pigs were squabbling. So, this is their CNC cage. It's very, very large. It is a 6x3 grid cage. Um, it is... So, it's, it's 7 feet by 3 feet 2 inches, I believe. And I have put Rose and Petunia's cage inside and put Kiwi in there. So it's been a very, very big change for everybody, but they seem to be adjusting pretty well. And they're just on their kiln-dried pine, but <laughs> it took so much bedding to fill this thing. We used half of an industrial-sized bag, so they're not going to be on this for long. But we decided to just do this today. I was going to wait till next weekend to put them in, because what I'm going to do is buy a couple more of these. I think... Um, one or two for Rose and Petunia and one for Kiwi. Um, but we just decided to do it. And then we're just going to put them on fleece to save us a ton of money. So, um, what the hope is, is that they can learn to get along. Because they've been squabbling all day through, well not all day, they've only been here like an hour. But since we put them in, they've been fighting through the bars. Not nearly as bad as I expected, though. Um, Kiwi's also been a bit more adventurous than I expected. Her hay rack is over there in her food bowl and her water bottle. And she has a tunnel she can hide in. That's where she is right now. So she feels nice and safe. Um, but tonight I'm going to cover up the two sides of the cage that Rose and Petunia have access to with old towels and move the barn to where Rose is at the food bowl and move the food bowl to where the barn is back there. Just so no one can jump into each other's cages. And over here you can see Rose and Petunia have a new food bowl. It is a no-spill cat dish and I've been wanting something like this um, for quite a while. They make a larger version of the bowl Rose and Petunia have for rabbits but my dad went to the store today and picked up some bedding and he saw this and just got it for me for a little surprise and I love it I don't think the guinea pigs can flip it but unfortunately Rose still hogs it 
So I'm going to put in another food bowl probably over in that corner by the waffle blocks, but unfortunately with all the moving around, I cannot find the food bowl. But when I find it, which I'm going to look for after this video, I will be putting it over there so Petunia can have access to food if Rose is hogging one of the bowls. And some other changes, I'm going to get more litter boxes as I said, and do fleece with a bunch of litter boxes with all the food, water, and hay in litter boxes. So they'll be more apt to use the um, litter boxes. And I'm going to get another water bottle because I feel like sometimes Rose hogs this one because she is the alpha pig and, you know, sometimes guinea pigs will be like that. So I'm just going to get another one, probably put it down at that end, just so they have, you know, two. <laughs> so they won't fight over it and Petunia can get water whenever she wants. Uh, I don't think I'm going to do a cage tour in this video. If you want to get an actual tour of the cage, I will be uploading that probably after this. Rose, why are you doing that? She's picking up the back of the barn and moving it. <laughs> she looks pink. Hi, pig. You look pink. Pink and brown. So now I'm just going to tell you how the transition went for everybody. Because it was a very big change for all the pigs. And I'm going to tell you how we executed it. Okay, so the footage you are looking at right now is of the guinea pigs during the transition. And unfortunately I did not get to film everything that I would like to have filmed. But this is while we were working on Kiwi's cage. Well, what well, was currently Rolls and Petunia's cage. So, um, I already had the coroplasting grids ready. So what we did is we came in and removed the cages from the coffee table. And then we put the two coffee tables where they needed to be. Set the coroplast down and set the grids up. And I had them in um, like sets of three. So we just then connected those last six sets of three to make the final product. And then we gave Rose and Petunia's cage a very deep clean because we needed to make it smell as much like a new cage as possible. And so we just, um, of course she didn't get their litter box that smells a lot like them and they need it anyway. But we took everything out and scrubbed everything down. We used a 50-50 vinegar and water solution just like you would when cleaning a normal cage, but we used a lot more of it and scrubbed everything. We scrubbed the divider, we scrubbed the ramp cover, we scrubbed all of the floor. And we did that for quite a while. And then what we did was just simply make sure they were out of the way and set the cage into oh, the CNC cage. And Rosa Petunia, as you can see, did just fine with this little transition. Um, they were exploring. As you can see, Rose got very curious. Um, they just thought it was a playtime. And I just set in their some of their houses and tunnels and uh, um, stuff like that to let them run around. Because I didn't want to put them in the carrier because Rose can be very mean to Petunia when they're in the carrier because it's such a small space. And they didn't have, um, well, we didn't have anyone to watch them in the playpen, and there was no harm in letting them explore. So then I just took the bag of bedding and set it in and began scooping out bedding, and they kept getting in the way. They um, were surprisingly outgoing for what we were doing. It was a brand new, very large bag of bedding, and they didn't even seem to care. Um, they were sitting right in the way, and we had to push them out of the way several times. They did excellent. They um, settled right in. They were a little confused um, why we never put them back in their cage. And um, Petunia um, was probably handled it the worst. She was very cautious, but she's fine now. I'm taking this voice over um, the evening of the big transition. And just so you know, we did this on January 21st. And um, I will be doing a video on how we built the CNC cage because if you know anything about CNC cages, the grids are supposed to go on the outside. And if you know anything about buying a CNC cage already made online, you also know that they don't come this big. So 
um, it took a little um, special work, but I'll just explain real quick. The reason the grids are not on the outside is quite simply because we didn't have enough. I bought one set of 14 inch black um, CNC grids. I forget exactly what they were called, but they're um, for storage shelving. Um, I bought them off Amazon for about $40. There were 23 of them, and this cage took 18 of the grids just for the sides so we only have five left over so that's why they're on the inside and in my video when I explain how we made it um, I will explain how the grids are set up and stuff like that but to tell you about how Kiwi adjusted she was very nervous and stayed hunkered down in one of her logs while we were doing all the cleaning and stuff just because um, you know, we had picked up and moved her cage, and we were moving things all around her. There was just a lot of commotion. So, she stayed pretty hunkered down, but um, I gave her the wooden house so she could feel nice and secure the piglu and one of the willow tunnels on her fleece side, and she had never had fleece, so I made her fleece side pretty big, and I put the other willow tunnel in her bedding side which you will see in the cage tour in more detail just so she could feel nice and secure while she gets food and hay. She adjusted very nicely. It did not take her long to come out and start exploring. She has chewed everything in her new setup. Um, she was playing with everything and one of the cardboard chews I have in there which was made from a um, paper towel tube is almost completely gone now and the entire tube was there so I mean, she has just been all over the place she has been active in popcorning she's doing fine although she's still arguing a lot with Rose I think it's gonna take quite a while for the two of them to set settle down but I'm hoping that eventually they will calm down and I will be able to try the bonding process again because it didn't go so hot the first time. Um, is there anything else I should tell you? I don't think so. Um, again, the transition went very nicely. Everyone has adjusted very well. And everyone seems to be quite happy with the new cage. Kiwi is already very outgoing. Um, she won't let us pet her yet. She's still very skittish when we try to pet her, but she will come out and she wants stuff while we're all standing by the cage, so that's great. Rose and Petunia are doing very good, although they do spook a little more easily than when they were in the smaller cage, but I'm sure they'll get over that very quickly. Okay, I'm going to tell you a little bit about their storage and stuff. Um, girls! Ugh. I've been having to hang out by the cage all day in case it gets out of control, which it has a couple times. Rose has gone after Petunia for no reason. But, um, since this cage is so big, it is on both the coffee tables. That used to be Kiwi and Rose and Petunia's. But now it has to take up both. Under here, I have their bin, where I put their toys and tubes. Oh, there's that piece of sizzle I dropped earlier all their toys and tubes that are not in their cage so a lot of the stuff is in their cage I decided not to give them any tubes or tunnels this time around simply because sometimes Rose um, and Petunia will fight over them and there's just gonna be enough fighting for now <laughs> so that's gonna stay under there and I can finally use more tubes they love tubes I can't I haven't been able to use these flexi tubes for anything except playtime up until now but now I'll be able to put it in the cage because it's big enough also under here, this is all their fleece items. Well, not fleece, like, this is all their comfy items. This is a tunnel my grandmother made. It's not, it's flat right now. You flip up the ends and it becomes a tunnel. And this is the bed they got for Christmas. This is a bed my grandmother made with really fluffy edges and a kind of fluffy bottom. So that's for, like, bigger houses like the waffle blocks and stuff. And this is their super fluffy bed that they got quite a while ago. And I forgot to mention, I have black grids. Um, and they're on the inside simply because I only had 
Well, I had 23 grids to work with, and this cage takes 18, so I only had 5 grids left over, which is not enough to put them on the outside and connect them underneath the coroplast. But I'm going to do a video on how we clean the CNC cage because it's a bit more of a process than cleaning normal guinea pig cages because it's so big with the two cages and, you know, with the cage inside. So I'll explain more about that in another video. And under here, we have a lot of books, but I just put the two dust pans I have. My old blue one and my rainbow one that I got for my birthday just a couple weeks ago. Then over here, I just have a lamp so I can see them. And over here, they have their crinkle sack, which is just underneath their food. Their food, um, that's not theirs. <laughs> that's all my socks that I have to wear under my braces. Um, and then that is their bedding, which hopefully I will be discarding because I've started making my own that I'm gonna start putting in the litter boxes when we switch over to fleece. And then over here on this end of the coffee table, we have the Snack Shack house, which, of course, the roof is gone. They eat the entire roof, but my dad and I are just going to make a cardboard roof. And we have their giant flexi tube. And in case you were wondering what I meant by socks underneath my braces, they're for my legs. Normally, they're on my legs. They're to keep my ankles straight. So thank you very much for watching. I'm sorry this video was so long, but I hope you enjoyed. Please don't forget to comment, rate, request, and subscribe. More videos are on the way. Thank you for watching. Bye!